I would like to introduce you to another one of our mainstream products. This is the RH Design Stop Clock. Like the analyzer, it's an f-stop timer, but unlike the analyzer which has metering functions inside it, this particular unit is a programmable timer and allows you to repeat complex sequences of main exposures plus burn-in exposures um, into its programmable memory. It can be expanded uh, to have a separate metering head, uh, which is called the Zone Master, which does its own unique standalone function of metering and analyzing, but plugs into the front of the unit via a socket to transmit the times across to the main timer unit to control the enlarger directly. On the back of the unit, just like with the analyzer, there's a mains input, switch and fuse, and two mains outlets, one for the safe light and one for the enlarger. And the, the last little hole in the front is for an optional foot switch. On the front of the panel, just like the analyzer, there are eight buttons and an eight segment display with a load of small indicators for the different functions and modes. And these help, for instance, uh, to remind you what you've got programmed in and special modes that you're using for compensation, etc. But this particular unit is designed for those customers that prefer to use test strips to determine exposure. It offers finer degrees of control down to a 24th of a stop and also allows clever things like dry down compensation. If you're going to be using test strips and you evaluate them wet, then this unit can then slightly compensate for the effect of drying on the actual density, apparent density of, of the print. So let's look at this one in a bit more detail. Let's take a look at the primary function of all the buttons on a stop clock. Turning the unit on does a display check, tells you the software version very quickly, and then flashes the step size that's being used by the time base, and then tells you it's channel one and the startup time of 16 seconds. If we take a look at the display, along the top we have a number of indicators. These are used to tell you when you're in a particular mode. And then we have a four character display split into two. There's a single character used for the step in a programmable sequence, and then a group of three which show general numbers, in this case normally time. There's eight buttons on the front, and let's take a look at their primary function. On the left we have the start stop, start, stop button, or the print button, and just pressing this starts the timer. Pressing it a second time pauses the timer, pressing it a third time continues. Pressing any other button aborts the time and brings it back to the standard time. So that's the main exposure button. Next to that is the focus button. Turning that on and off basically just turns the enlarger on and off so that you can focus. Then we've got a group of six buttons. These two buttons here, um, the top one, the store button, is used for entering programmable sequences. The button underneath is a general exit or clear button, which is used to exit various modes or to confirm mode and come out. In the middle are the primary buttons for changing the exposure. There's an up button and a down button, and they go up and down in fractions of an f-stop, and they are the way you change your exposure. Pressing both together allows you to see what step size is currently being used, in this case a quarter of a stop, and I can make that finer, or I can make it coarser by using the up and down buttons again. And I can confirm that by pressing the exit button. So now when I go up and down, I go up and down in bigger steps. To the right of those two buttons are a further two buttons. There's a compensate button that allows you to make a fixed compensation, for instance for dry down. Pressing it quickly flashes the compensation mode light and now when you press start stop the time base runs at a slightly different rate to compensate for the effects of print dry down. And typically you would use this if you're doing wet test strips, evaluating a wet test strip but want the dry test strip or the dry print to be the same as the wet one. Pressing it again cancels the mode. 
The bottom right hand button allows you to switch between the standard step sizes, which in this case I've now set to a third of a stop, and a very fine 24th of a stop, which can be useful when you're printing very high contrast um, settings. And again, moving this now changes in very small increments of a 24th of a stop. And typically, you would only use this at a high contrast setting. Switching it back to standard by pressing the button again allows me to go up and down in thirds as before.